Tarantino, the character I play is Joshua. Joshua is this uh, young, naive guy who really just wants to have love and a family. He want to finish school, but mostly his big important thing is to have a family to re to retry what he didn't get when he was young. He came up in a unsteady family life. Uh, his father was gone, his mother was out there, his brother was doing the streets, and he was just left to himself. So now he just want to recorrect all the mistakes he made when uh, growing up. All the things that didn't happen and he didn't get grown up, he want to give it to some kids. <laughs> well, I'm Christopher Mike Morris, um, playing the role of Marshall and the Bridge of Conception. Um, and basically, Marshall represents um, a great number of um, LGBTQ population who is a gay man who has once been with a straight woman and made the decision or just knew, hey, I'm gay and I can't be with you anymore. And so now he's living his life. And what's being presented before him in this show is he's made decisions that he likes being with this man. He likes not having kids. He likes just doing his mate and living a life. And now what's going on for him is he's having to make decisions. Does he want to deal with children? Does he want to deal with being a family man, not having the freedoms that he's used to? And making those decisions we find is hard. It's just dealing with daily life and those challenges and changes that come that can turn your world around. And as you sort of find him making those decisions, it's interesting to find that the smallest thing can sort of separate somewhat of an established family and can sort of change him. It's sort of interesting to see where it's going to take him and where it may lead him and will it become destructive or will it become productive. Now she wants to put the babies up for adoption. Well, if she wanted to put them up, up for adoption, let her put them up for adoption. Marshall. What? Really? It's Tiffany. It's her choice. So you mean to tell me you'll just throw away your babies? They're not my babies. So what about the family we're going to have? So he, he he's going to make this path to get Tiffany, uh, see what she want to do with the twins. He's going to definitely go after Jasmine. And, you know, school is coming. Uh, graduation is coming up. So, we shall see what happens after graduation and what Marshall was saying. I'm not even so. Did you ask me? Have we talked about it? And you how it is done? The question is, are we done? I see him, I, honestly, I see him um, making some real critical con um, decisions. Um, I don't see him really going for being a family guy as far as taking care of a grown man and two kids. Um, now, I don't want to get too much of the story away, so I'm just going to say two kids and leave it at that. I don't see him um, sitting in that pathway for him because that's not part of his plan, but it's going to be interesting to see what type of reconciliation can happen there and how much he would be willing to um, compromise because Marshall is very set in structure and he's making the decisions. and. Will he be willing to let someone share in that and impose on a life that he's already set? And if he if he does, would that then make him step out of a relationship? Because then that's going to change his world, his mindset, and how he already works. I want to know what made you. Welcome. You were going to do it. And why not? I've never done it. Like you were there. I ain't had sex with her since I was last with her. That was over 20 years ago. But one woman, I go have a woman. I'm with you. I wonder what made you, because this ain't about me, what made you think it was even okay? To be honest, I wouldn't really change anything because my character is interesting. It's like he, the story to me is about Marshall. But my character is bring like the interesting twist, the funness to it. Cause Marshall was like boom, boom, boom. And Joshua is everywhere. He don't care, like, and I like it. 
I think the story is about Tiffany. So. <laughs> I guess really it's about everybody. Yeah. Um, but uh, for Marshall, uh, I don't think you can change anything about him without changing the story. So I wouldn't want to change anything about him, but what happens, what I do think is going to be the funnest part for Marshall is as the story goes along and things have to be implemented, Marshall's going to have to change and to see what decisions are made upon how we change him and what he does with those changes, that's going to be the fun part for me. Turn up. Oh, wait. You know I can't turn up. 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 You forgot already. I mean, that's, that's, that was the last girlfriend I had, the last, if I could say just the last pussy I hit. So, you know, <laughs> so, um, you know, and in saying that and things I preface just as who he represents, that says a lot to the struggles that he'll have to deal with. And then I don't want to get much more the story. For me, Tiffany is my girlfriend, but in a different way than she was his girlfriend. Like, we share a lot of secrets. She actually is closer to Marshall, but she know more of my secrets than Marshall knows. So, it's kind of a dynamic where everybody's kind of cool, and Tiffany is the one in the middle that knows everything on both sides. So she can be the, the breaker to come in and be like, yeah, this, that, and the third. <laughs> but you said something really good. Everybody is cool, but everybody's holding their own trump card. Mm, yeah. At the end of the day, everybody got has something to everybody, say. Everybody, and when you say that, everybody do have a trump card. Mm -hmm. You got a card to pull because you holding I'm everything. I hold on cards. And then Tiffany got the card to pull because she know the secrets. She know the dirt. And she holds the bag. Exactly. And Joshua is sexy, so you ain't gonna just leave him. <laughs> He's gone. He, he walked out of here, Tiffany. He walked out of here upset. I don't know what he could do right now, Tiffany. I just don't. This was my whole life story for real. So it was, it was easy for me to hop into that character. It was easy for me to be Joshua, because it is my story. I do have a brother. He not dead. Take care of his daughter. You get what I'm saying? And she's been there for years. So I am a college student. I am gay. So it, it just, everything drew from that. That's why I was excited to, 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 to do it once I read it. This is weird. Viewers, I, I tell you, I said I do it. I didn't necessarily know everything it was about. I read the the first script, the teaser, mm -hmm. and I came in and we did a workshop. And so they was like, yeah, you know, you and Tiffany were college sweethearts and um, y'all not together no more. I'm like, I live that. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> What's going on? Um, it's something that the both of us need to talk to you about. When, we, when you just look at it and, and you can personalize a lot of it, but when you look at it and, not, and look at it from from our communal standpoint and from the things that we want to learn and grow from, I look and say, you know, knowing what I've been through, what what also does he have to tell, and and what 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 purpose is this going to do? And my thing is, okay, my story. And I can tell you, yeah, I, I, I came out to my girlfriend in college and told her I couldn't be with her anymore. And um, and that was a baseline that sort of meets here. But this story is a little bit more. So what was the importance of this story? And I have to look at the importance of this story and saying, how does this now, what we have going on in our community now, affect and help? And when I look at now, you know, people, our community, we have kids now. We can get married now. We're making decisions of that, and that's where, which you'll find out later, where where he has to go into and make decisions of that many of us are still torn on what we want to do. And I found myself drawn to this character here. And even me and myself, I can say, I'm, I'm in a relationship, and we haven't determined whether we want to get married or not. That's something we're still looking at. We're looking at, we've been together for 10 years. We feel like we're married. Do we want to legally get married? And, this show lends itself to all of those things that we don't always talk about. And that's what I really love about this show. An improv episode will probably put a whole twist 
on this that we can still grow on. It's not like it will end anything. We can talk about stuff through our characters that probably would have never been thought of to write in a script, just off the wing. The improv episodes are just fun. I mean, improv mm-hmm. is just fun. It, um, it takes away from the structure of writing, per se, because, I mean, for you all who don't know, normally when you do improv, you do know what your beginning, middle, and end yeah. should be. Yeah. So, with that being said, we're going to definitely get what the writer wants, mm-hmm. but instead of the writer writing it, we get to organically do it as a character, and that is just some of the most honest stuff you could ever get, so I'm all for it. Previously on Inebriated Conception. We having a guest for dinner. <laughs> Let me guess. Tiffany, your ex, you better have this drink with me. Oh, no, thank you, for real. Babe, she can't. What's going on? Uh, um, it's something that the both of us need to talk to you about. Tiff, what is it? Okay, well, we got pregnant. We? Who seen did the deed? Mine or Marshall's? Well, hold on. Can you possibly tell me how you got Tiffany pregnant? Did I forget to mention that there's two babies? What? What well, really, what was the point of all this? You gonna do what? Bitch, bye. Hey, what's going on, man? That was Tiffany. Mm-hmm. Now she wants to put the babies up for adoption. Well, if she wanted to put them, let her put them up for adoption, let her put them up for adoption. Marsha. What? Really? It's Tiffany. It's her choice. So you mean to tell me you'll just throw away your babies? They're not my babies. So what about the family we're going to have? What about it? What was the point of all of this? Did, why did you fuck me? Because I wanted to. What was the, what was the point? You did. 20 years ago? Really? We going in now? That juvenile? She's pregnant. We had sex. The babies are coming. Look, I understand that you love children. You love Jasmine. Jasmine ain't your child, man. She has no parents. She has your mommy. Your mama got custody of her. That's who takes care of it. It's wonderful that you help out this baby, but she ain't your child. But you know we, my No, I'm not done. I'm not done. We. Uh, family. That's what we signed on for. All decisions that we make, we make together. She's dealing with her own things right now. Your mother is grown. She's handled her life just tired. fine. She's handled her life just fine. She's handled you. She can handle Jasmine. And now, you, if you try to take care of her, then you're going to bring two more kids on in here? We have the space. But did you ask me? Did you ask me if that's what I wanted? If that's what I wanted? If that's what I even chose? Did you? Marshall, I've asked you many times. And what have I said? You never give a definitive answer. You say we'll talk about it. Well, we well, talk guess what? Today, we're talking now. We're talking, talking now. No. That wasn't something I had decided I wanted. Life changes. Yeah, it does. A lot can change in an instant. Keep pushing, you're gonna see a lot of damn changes you might not like. That flip ass now gonna fuck you up. Calm down, Marshall. It's not even that serious of a deal. <laughs> we need to be focusing on what Tiffany's gonna do with her body. We need to be focusing on what she's you gonna do. You wanna focus on what Tiffany can do so you can have these twins here in this house and then I'm taking care of them. What you gonna do? How you gonna do? How are you gonna take care of them? Have you decided upon that? What's going on? I'm almost graduated. Mm-hmm. I'll be working. What? Lined up? 
How is any of that going on? Interviews? How many you been on? Are you going on one week, two week, five week? How many resumes you sending now? You haven't started. No, you said we. See, that's something that you would do. That's something that you will be pre-planning for. There's a maturity level that comes with having kids. And there's a maturity level when you choose not to have them because you like the way you're currently living, which is what I've chose to do. There's a maturity level when you choose to share your life with somebody. Where's your maturity level, Josh? Where's your compromise, Michael? Where is your compromise? You sit here Who the fuck and is you, Michael, Marshall. I didn't say any, Michael. Yes, you did. What are you talking about? That's another conversation for another day. Let's handle this one right now. We're talking about Tiffany and Vegas, right? No, we're talking about. That's the problem right now. You want to say it's us talking about Tiffany and the babies, but do you realize your mindset is you want the babies? Have you even asked Tiffany, does she want those babies? Is she going to try and take care of those babies? If she changed her mind tomorrow and she decided well, she, she wants to raise those today. children. This is the first time she's ever said that, March. But the whole time you've been trying to get them in this What house. did you say to her? I ain't have to say shit. She's a smart woman. I've known her a long time. I know you, Marcia. And you talk to her. What did you say? I ain't say nothing. Hmm. But I'm going to say this to you. I'm going to sit around here quiet. Trying to determine how I'm going to deal with you imposing your dreams on my life. Imposing? Yeah, you want to have a family. Having two or more kids so I can take care of you and the two kids. That's been your dream. You didn't ask me. You have to question me and say, what should we do? How should we live? What do you want to do? We're living in a damn apartment. They ain't got no, no grass to run out, no yard to play in. They ain't got none of that. At least you're thinking about it. No. You These are your kids, kids, man. I want children. These your kids. The you. I can. You wanted them. Can you raise them? Thing I need to do to take care of these children, Marshall. They deserve a family. All children deserve a family. You know how I grew up. And who said it wasn't the best? Me. I do. You're not going anywhere, Marshall. You sure about that? Try me. Where are you going? Don't call.